delocalization There's two ways to think about this. One is, well, when does it exist? It exists whenever you have resonance. So if you have resonance, you have delocalization. Okay. So if you are able to draw at least one resonance structure, you have delocalized electrons. So a delocalized means the definition more so is electrons not localized on a particular atom. Okay, so let me pick one for example. Let's take uh, let's take a carbonate. Here's carbonate. I'm just going to draw the resonant structure for you. It just means they can move around, right? It just means they can move around, yeah. So one resonance, there's three, but I'll just draw one. Yeah, the electrons can move. So notice how this extra pair of electrons that forming the pi bond moved up top. Those electrons are not localized to the carbon-oxygen bond. At the bottom, they actually moved up here, and they can move other places as well. Since they're not localized, since they can move, they're called delocalized. That is, not in one place. That happens whenever you have resonance structures. Uh, those are nice. Whenever you have delocalization, it's nice because it extremely stabilizes a molecule. So anything that has resonance structures is very stable, uh, very low energy, and so that's always a good thing in chemistry. Yeah? Uh, just like an extra question, so would that molecule be nonpolar? This molecule, yeah. Uh, what's the question? Uh, what's the answer? Nonpolar or polar? This is nonpolar. It's symmetric, and so it definitely be nonpolar. Yes. So 